Yeah, I would like to ask um, Jasper van Dijk, he's a data steward at New Delft, and uh, he accepted to give the closing remarks. It's really interesting to have the talk outsider to reflect on this day and time. We did. Thank you. <laughs> okay, yes. Yeah. So, yeah, I was a uh, volunteer to uh, give your closing remarks. And since uh, you've all been uh, sitting here the entire day and it's dark outside, I'll keep it brief. There are also no missile strikes in my what I want to talk about. But um, I've talked to a lot of people and I've seen a lot of examples of where everyone, how everyone's working with open science and where they are at the moment. And I'm going to try to answer one of the questions that was asked this morning and what OpenCom was about, and that's what are we trying to achieve? And I think that what we're trying to achieve, and the, the term was dropped a couple times, is to have a culture change, have a change in behavior and attitude of researchers. And I think that um, to have that change, one of the things we need is patience. We can't have it immediately, and I think that patience is key. And I haven't talked to a lot of people who know exactly how to make sure that this culture change actually comes into effect. What I thought was interesting when I was in the subgroup about um, safe space that, Christy, you said that I actually want this to be done. You're a strong advocate for open science, but you want it to be done so you can go back to doing your science. So in, in, a, in, in essence, we want this to become the norm. We want open science to become the norm. So with regard to one of the questions, that is what we keep in mind. But from my perspective, yes, I'm a data steward at Delft, but I'm also um, an information coordinator, which means that I'm responsible for registering the scientific output of my faculty. That's where open access comes into play. And I think that, um, for me, open access and open data are two different things. Yes, they're open science, but with regard to talking to your researchers, I, th I separate these two. And that's for the following reason. Open access is regard to publications. Publications are, in essence, a strong component of the current scientific world. Making your publications open access is a fairly simple pro process, but has less benefit directly to researchers. Open data, on the other hand, is a process that is a lot more well, uh, ambiguous because it's discipline specific, but the benefits of that could be a lot larger than open access. Yet they are both open science. So, but when I when I talk to researchers, when I talk to open access, they tend to be yeah, okay, fine. But when you talk to people about open data, they as soon as you can convince them, they tend to be more enthusiastic. So I. Just as a general remark from my side, when I talk to everybody, I separate these two things. And when you talk to researchers about open science, separate these two things. One is easy, less benefit. The other one is harder, but potentially more benefit. And what I also found interesting in talking to everybody, and at the Netherlands, we're actually in the same state, they were trying to identify which role that we have. And that is specifically, again, with regard to open data. Because what we need to do is convince people. And a lot of the presentations here had a component, or some were completely about communication. How do we go about reaching out to the researchers? In my QB group, I think all questions were about how do I engage researchers? And I once had a presentation that for me was, it was a simple term, but it did a lot to me. It said, RDM support is people work. You need to talk to people. There are abstract ideas, um, and open science isn't ideal, but what we need to do is go to the researchers and talk to them, try to convince them. Not all of them have to be convinced, but some of them have to. And it's up to us to try to do that. Now, there are various ways, and it, the change shouldn't be immediate, but that's one of the things that I learned, and I think that it's also applicable to what we talked about today. And with that, I'd actually like to close. Thank you all for all the information. Um, keep up the good work. Thank you. Last word, thank you to all the speakers uh, for making us, us think a little bit outside the box. Uh, thank you to PHA and Arcadia for their um,
support. Uh, thank you to all the organizers for setting this up, and in particular, I would like to say, I'd say thank you to Kirsty and Jenny for all the work. And um, most of all, thank you for thank you all the participants for making this event interactive and interesting. Thank you. Let's have a quick drink. <laughs>